Hello guys and welcome back to Star Drive the Black Box and Combined Arms mods where we're playing as the Draylock. We're at war with the Rally and in the last episode we uh, concluded with the invasion of GB5 and uh, the planet is still resisting us at the moment, still uh, firing its batteries at our, uh, at our fleet, but our troops are on the ground and um, we have now captured it. Let me just reduce the game speed down. What is this world? Oh, richness is. Oh, it's a great, great agricultural world. So let's um, let's convert that to agriculture. And the fleets. Let's just take a look at them. So what are you? You're a talon. Okay, great. So let's just uh, replace you. Uh, okay, there. Let's get some more bombers. them and um, so where's my first fleet? Uh, Sachibi, okay. So we could come and have a look at Jera's but it's a split system with the Dauntless. Um, yeah I'm kind of reluctant to share systems with the Dauntless for the moment. Obviously there's Kothla, the home system of the um, of the Raleigh, uh, which I don't think I can have, I don't think I have the strength to, to take on just yet. Tiger. Let's go and have a look at uh, the Tiger system. And in the meantime, I think I'll bring my ships to Corner from it, or <laughs> however you pronounce that. Uh, yeah, fourth fleet's uh, come along as well. Um, we killed an enemy agent, good, from the quarter zine. And uh, we've gained knowledge, one of our agents, fine. So I think I said, oh, are they staying there? Or are they, hmm, okay. Let's, um, let's see whether we can take those ships out in deep space. I think I said I was going to have a little look at, um, the medium freighter. So the small freighter. Yeah, we haven't. Uh, let's look. Oops, I want to load up the freighters. So yeah, they're all small. So we need to design ourselves a medium one. So let's have a little load up the. What would it be? The Mark II, probably. Yeah, the Mark II. So warp speed of. Let's load it up. Warp speed of 33. Sublight of 100 odd. And um, it has got four of these large modules. Okay, so let's click on the medium one. Engines, what we've well, we got a medium overdrive engine, we might be able to try that. I don't have the next level of velocity package to give myself a better warp engine, though. So perhaps, um, yeah, let's let's fill the ship first with these, or oh, we can put large cargo holds in. Maybe three in like that. And then the smaller ones, take the symmetry off down the side here. It will need a cockpit, Let's put you in there. And the uh, engines then. Wow, well, we could try three. Well, why not have all of those as warps? And then, ah, I can't put those combat thrusters in because they're all internal. That is a shame. Hmm. Let me just have a look. Okay, so there are some. There's some O ones up here, so we could put some forward thrusters up there with, well, let's, let's go like that, allowing the engines at the back here to all be warp engines. Power then, I will need a bit of power up there and here. Then let's put in the large cargo holes. Well, I can only have two now. 
if I move these to the side. Y3, okay. And then the small ones down here. So the FTL speed is only 17k, so very, very slow. Um, I would like to put a small sensor on it as well. So the sublight speed is much better at 283, but the, um, the warp speed is very slow. Is there anything I can do to improve that? So, what about twin small engines? No, even worse. I suspect these small warp engines are the best when it comes to um, warp speed. Um, small engine, yeah. We're looking at 80k, so it would need to be better than 80k. So. The twins got 85, but obviously it takes two slots. The overdrive, um, we can try just, yeah, much, much faster sublight speed, but rubbish. Warp speed, um, missing com oh, missing a command module as well. Okay, so well, I would just take that one out and I'm gonna copy this in here. Recharge at warp is then no 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 let's not um, let's not bother with that at the moment we need some better technology to make them a uh, a worthwhile investment. So second fleet just kind of gathered together, and then you need to jump here to take on those Raleigh ships. Oh, that is a that is a frigate. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to um, we need to get some frigates because we are behind. What are you? You are a Draylock infiltrator. You better get off to the planet. Oh, there they are. There they are. Come back. Come back. Let's see whether we can take them out whilst they're massing. Bit of a worry they've got frigates because if they've got frigates, I assume the the other races will have. Oh, they've had frigates for ages actually. Now I look at it, the technology on them isn't that good. Um, I think that we've previously seen their frigates just be drone carriers, whereas these are actually combat ships. Slowly cutting through them, but it is costing us some ships. Missiles as well, we can't deal with, so I do need some point defence. Yeah, that was quite expensive for us. I'm glad I took them on. Um, so let's delete these hawks. Yeah, so I obviously need to graduate, you know, need to get up to frigates, but uh, there's a few other technologies I want to get first. Okay, let's, uh, let's requisition all of those. And second fleet, you can also move in this direction now as well. Researching at 15, which is, uh, you know, feels feels alright, but uh, I know that frigates are quite a jump by about 900 odd. Okay, high density housing, that's good, that will help with our economy. And offline, I was thinking that um, one of the big differences between this um, Draylock playthrough and my Rally one is that um, so far, so far, 
Um, I'm cringing here because the commentator's curse. I haven't been piled on. And um, I think it is because of that alluring track. So I think I'm going to actually invest a bit of research into xenolinguistics just to give us an additional 10% bonus to our diplomatic efforts. And that may, um, that may help further to avoid uh, unwanted wars. Let's... Um, Let's have a look as well. So we, we had obviously this um, Dark Matter Cannon at 2000, which I would like to get. But um, I sort of think, we yeah, now is the time to... Uh, the next Corvette would only be 500 odd. But let's... Um, let's make the jump to frigates. Yeah, no, we'll, 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 we'll make the jump to frigates now. And I'll just pop the game speed up whilst we're redeploying. How are things on Drell 3? Still putting all of its production towards uh, food and. Uh, Exporting that food. Hopefully, these other worlds will um, take some of the uh, the burden off it. Let's uh, let's get our first fleet in here. See what the defences of Tiger are, which is um, one point two richness, which is quite nice. For well, three point five billion potential for us. Okay, so we've got space defences, we've got some ground defences, but not too not too bad. Let's bring the third and fourth fleets and uh, scouts you need to get out of there. Okay, one of our spies has failed to learn anything. And then first fleet, you come down here to uh, Legazd. Which is a step average, ooh, with 1.3, 0.89 food, yeah, that'd be quite a nice one for us to get. We killed an enemy agent, good. Fourth and third, good, we've got Xenolinguistics, let's, uh, let's hope that that um, helps with uh, just making us more more attractive to everybody and uh, less likely to be backstabbed. So, back, um, it's gaining forty six. I think the governor budgets look fairly fairly healthy. Um, Getting quite a decent trade income. Now then, are you... Okay, you're getting some more ships, fine. Um, I will just queue up a couple of troops. How are things a prairie? This is a very good production world. So we've got one shipyard up as well, which will um, reduce the cost of the second one. High density housing, though. Why don't we bump you up? So our fleets are just uh, moving towards Tiger. I'll just put the game speed up whilst we're waiting for that to happen. Uh, reduce the speed. Uh, oh, GB. Forces are overwhelming. Uh, that is quite a lot of GB, so I will bring the second fleet back here. We've got troops on the ground. How much is it producing at 1.1? Okay, so yeah, it does need the help of a fleet to um, rescue it.
So first week, let's, let's have a little look. So a yeah, mixture of orbital and uh, ground defences, yeah, missile batteries, gun emplacements. Quite, uh, quite a tough nut to crack, I think. Not as tough as the home system, though. We'll come have a little look at uh, Titan in a bit. So third fleet's arriving at Tiger. Second fleet is still away from Chibi. Uh, this, unless a lot of ground troops appear, this doesn't look like too much of a threat. So third fleet, yeah, take out that, uh, there's a little fighter there to take out. Killed an agent, good. Bombers are still on their way. And I'm going to reject that. We're, we're making gains. Going in a bit piecemeal, and so suffering losses to the uh, defense batteries. What are they using? Oh, yeah, they're using these uh, defensive cannons, which are specifically designed for um, platforms. There's a couple of platforms there, that's why it's kicking out so much firepower. There we go, right, so let's, uh, let's move back over here. How many troops? Yeah, they've got a few troops which will be able to... Um... Oh, there's the first bombs. Come away, come away. Oh, there's a shield. There is a shield, okay. Third fleet, yeah, just move in a bit closer. Okay, so we're uh, besieging Tiger. Ooh, some defensive forces have arrived. We need to upgrade our weaponry as we're still using these prototype beams. We do have the numbers though right now. Defenders, There's a couple more to go. The shield is still very strong, at two hundred odd. So we've got a while to go there. How did we get on a Chibi? Did their fleet? I think their fleet moved out. Okay. Move a bit closer. Building us some bombers. Let me check the third fleet. How did we get on? So we suffered some more losses. It's a Talon. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's uh, rebuild those. Shield is down, it's closer to 150 now. So we'll let that proceed. Let's move the first fleet to Titan so we can check out what the defences are like there. Low on ammunition. 
or ordnance rather. Shield still holds. This is why I haven't gone and attacked the um, their home system because um, you know whilst uh, whilst we're reducing the shields here, there's no um, there's no sort of ground batteries firing at us, whereas their home planet has a lot of uh, defensive batteries that um, would really inflict a lot of damage on us as we orbit above. What are you? Yeah, oh, try and as constructor. Times of 50 odd. Okay, so that's going okay. Um, killed an enemy agent. Don't seem to be attacking Chibi. Maybe we bring that second fleet down here. Let's have a look how, we, how, how are we doing? So a third economic strength, first population, ninth military strength, second technologically. The Raleigh are apparently first technologically. Okay, that might explain the um, the frigates. Militarily, they're eighth. Population second, so that's you know that's interesting. The second population, there's um, there's still a lot for me to gain in this war, even if I don't. Uh, go for the home system to begin with. Okay, they've done their naughty little surprise attack. Let's uh, let's invade. Lost some bombers. A bomber. Okay, don't let it get away. Probably need to replenish those. Yep. Yeah. Ship captured, unfortunately. Okay, so fourth fleet needs to uh, move to regain ordnance. Let's. Um, I can tell them to do that. So yeah, I can. T I can tell them individually. I've got some bot additional bombers on the way, so I don't want the whole fleet. So these guys, you go and um, go and grab some more ordnance. Whilst uh, this bomber comes in, and uh, we'll keep up sort of a little bombardment whilst we're waiting for troops to arrive to um, secure the planet. There's, there's a load of them there. There's ten of them there, so they've got a little way to go. The, uh, is this a defense one? Anyway, let's take it out. Oh, it's jumped away. So this bomber. Okay, we've got ourselves frigates now. So the size, the larger bridge, better engines. So it might make that uh, medium freighter vi viable. Where to go next? Um, I think that uh, some better power generation would be useful. Um, do we want cold fusion or to go with extreme fusion? Let's um, 
Yeah, let's go extreme. And I could also do with improving the armor and the shields, though fast shielding is quite an investment. Um, we'll go with better solar armor and then I'll go to livestock cloning just so that I'm investing a bit in the economy as well. Okay, so that bomber is going to help us uh, weaken the defenses. So that it's uh, ready for the ground troops. So that's going on. Let's have a little look at uh, Titan. Oh, there's, there's quite a bit of Titan. They've got, uh, they've got four worlds here. And it's uh, right on the edge of the galaxy, so it's kind of uh, relatively secure from that, in that perspective. No wonder they've got the uh, the second largest uh, population. They did actually have a lot of worlds. Okay, what have we got here? Okay, so it's um, an ice-rich but um, very limited population potential. There's a load of um, troops surrounding it. Titan 7 is a nice average. Let's uh, move to this side of it. And then we've got a Tundra Ultra Poor and a... Oh, a Desert Average! 11.1 .1 billion! And one richness. There. That's, that's the sort of stuff we're after, guys. So, okay, yeah. A lot of these worlds are... Those two worlds weren't um, particularly useful, but they're not heavily defended either. How's the bombardment going? There's still a military outpost there. Okay, so I think you can stop now for the moment. Where are my troops? They're here. Okay, so a little while to go, but uh, on their way, and then hopefully not too many will be um, killed in the assault and then we can use them to uh, to continue on the campaign. Third fleet is okay it's fighting a constructor that's apparently being scrapped. Well let's stop it from being scrapped because we don't want them to have the uh, the production from it. Just need to grab this bomber before he goes into uh, on embalming Tiger for the moment. So what's uh, Titan 4 like? Okay, ground troops, shield, uh, fighter squadron, but not uh, not loads of defensive ground defense batteries, so that's uh, that is something. Let's go and have a look at the Cyclops as well. Have these bombers no, they've still got to um, rearm. They frequently rebuild the outpost, so I'm just keeping an eye on that. Um, or they could build some sort of defensive battery, I suppose. But Tiger won, you know, 2.9 billion, uh, 1.2 richness. It's worth worth us getting. See these Opterous worlds as well. I was expecting somebody to have gone to war with the Opterous by now, but they, they haven't so far. So a little look, so the Vulfur still got this large expanse of territory. The humans are up here, the Korathi, the Corazine. Polyps are quite a large territory. It does seem a bit odd that neither of the other races have um, gone to war yet. I mean, I know they've not gone to war against me because they've got my alluring trait, but you'd think that they'd, uh, they'd have a pop at each other or just kind of come and dogpile the um, 
the rally with me. Oh yes, they've rebuilt a uh, rebuilt the. Is that the outpost? Yes, it is the outpost. So we'll just uh, shell that. Troops are on the ground. Seven, down to five. Should go shortly. There we go. So we've captured Tiger One, which will turn into an industrial world. And then fourth fleet. Um, let's gather everybody at Tiger One. Third fleet, how are you doing? Let's just have a little look at our fleets. Ooh, so there's uh, two talents to build there. Third fleet, fine. Let's, um, let's have a look at the frigate then. So the side, oh yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit larger. Um, let's. Uh, oh, we're about to get a better. Yeah, better, better reactor. So let's um, let's wait for that. And then we'll um, then we'll have a look. Oh, and then the armor I researched. Hmm. So I do I do get stuck in this kind of. Oh, I just want the next the next technology to make the best ships, and it has screwed me in the past. So maybe I should uh, just start cranking out some frigates now. Let's have a look at uh, Cyclops. So this one is just a Baron Rich. So it is, you know, nice and rich at two. But I um, don't think it's going to do much for us. There's some troops down here. So first we can have a look at uh, Cyclops 1, which is an oceanic average of so the... Um, the Raleigh really love Oceanic, which is why they've got 7.4 billion. 0.88 um, fertility? Okay. Uh, so we've got Extreme Fusion now, which uh, gives us uh, better power generation. And now I'm on to researching solar armor. So yeah, Cyclops 1 has got uh, some decent defenses and, uh, and shipyards as well. So let's... Uh, Get over there, and in the meantime, let's bring. Uh, we're just collecting our forces. Okay, so there's a few ships to arrive yet. There's a Cordazine force there. Wonder what they're up to. Corsair bases increased in number. Yeah, where are they going? Very suspicious of the Cordazine. You cannot be trusted. So um, yeah, I think actually, if we if we can take these systems, then um, that Cyclops uh, one, you know, if we were able to take that one down with its ground uh, defenses, shields, etc., then uh, we'll probably be in a position to try and attack the um, the home system then. I don't really see the merit in um, a peace treaty whilst we're uh, whilst we're not at war with any other factions, and we're you know we're we're winning. How are they? They are seventh military strength, so they've still got quite a force, stronger than me. <laughs> but I assume that's because they've got lots of ground troops and defensive buildings, whereas my strength is mostly in the fleet. Let's just push the game speed up a little bit. And uh, let's move out the third and fourth fleets. 
Should we bring the first fleet back over here just to provide some visibility? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay, so the um, the oasis will move from Brokenada. I will be rejecting that. Got to keep up the pressure though, because the um, yeah the uh, the Vulfa took me very much by surprise in my last campaign as to how they were able to recover from simply having their home system. Okay, so we're on to livestock cloning now, but um, we should be able to design ourselves our first frigate. So let's go, first of all, with engines. We'll go... Um, go medium warps, perhaps. And then... Maybe some small combat thrusters. We'll play around with it in a bit uh, and then stick some in like that. Power. Let's um, power all of that up. Defenses. So we've only got class one shields for the moment, which is inadequate. But I will. Uh, I'll do my best to improve that. Um, maybe one there. One there. Um, yeah, if I move you out a bit, actually, I need a cockpit. So I'll put the bridge over here. Oh, I've got another reactor in there. Weaponry then. So energy beams. We've still only got the prototype, so I won't go energy beams. We need something that will um, kick out. Um, we got some decent DPS, 137, 120, 150. So it's good versus shield. The range is 2,000. So the reds are slightly better, 2,400, but lower DPS. Let's go, let's go green lasers. Um, put them in like that. Okay, so we need to power those. That's not a problem, though. Them in like that. Um, just wondering whether we... Oh, look, let's, let's put some power armor. So we'll put power armor like that. And uh, you guys need to be powered, so I'll put you in there. 4, 5, 6, and 51k. So I'm happy with the 51k. 4, 5, 6 is slow. So we could probably do with some further engines. What about um, some additional forward thrusters? Gets us up to 5, 4, 5. Okay, so you guys are then powered, so I'll leave, leave that. What do we want to do? Do we want to put armor in here? So we could put um, we could put um, something to think about this. Uh, actually, is electro armor the better one? No, solar. Solar is the better. So yeah, so we'll go with maybe a solar in there. Low weapon accuracy is the only problem so far. Don't need anything from here. So what about smaller what's what's the small green weapons like? We'll we'll go to long range. Hmm. Energy beam, ballistic cannon, no, I'm not too interested in that. Now the Vulcan cannon, does it provide PD? Anyway. Small purples. Um, yeah, provides point defense versus missiles. So if we stick some purples in here. Have those in there. And these, can you, oh no, you're not powered then. So we'll go with plenty of purples and then fill in the rest with. 
armor. Uh, 428. Ooh, so it's a bit slow. Medium warps. The warp I'm very happy with. But if I was to go with an engine, say me medium overdrive, what would that do? Oh, it'd bump up the sub like by quite a lot. FTL is 29, which is perhaps on a bit on the slow side, but um, uh, I could perhaps live with that. Is there enough power? No, so we need we need that reactor in there. And I would like to have a look at the arcs. Toggle the symmetry on. And let's bring out these little purple ends so that we've got uh, fire all around. Leave, leave most of it firing forwards. The shield strength, let's have a look. Shield power is 9,400. Yeah, let us save that as. Oh, I don't know. The rapier. And let's go with. We need some frigates. Let's um, add uh, just four to begin with to each fleet. So I should also, I think, if I load up the, uh, the rapier, um, I'd, I'd like to basically turn it into a bomber, so weaponry, got the bombs, tactical nuclear bombs, um, so we could pop them in there. Ditch those. But where are we going to put... So ditch those, but have more purples in there. These here, you guys go, and then we've got more bombs. Ditch those, and those, and we'll add in ordnance. So it could be a little bit low on ordnance. Let me have a look at the arc. So yeah, I want you firing that way, you firing that way, and you sort of up over here as well. So we've got some PD in all directions. So you're going that way, that way, that way. Yeah, fine. Do we sacrifice a bit more armor? So here, for example, I don't think that will be doing too much. Let's do that and bump up the. Uh, Ordinance a little further, 473, 24k. Uh, yeah, let's save that as uh, that I can't you can't do brackets. There we go. Not very inventive, I know guys, but uh, it will do for now. So let's grab the fourth fleet and add in some frigates to uh, to this bombing fleet and uh, yeah, requisition all of those. So hopefully we are, um, you know, we're going to be improving our capability combat-wise and bombing-wise over the next little while. And maybe with those frigate bombers, we'll have the, the firepower to crack the defences of Kofla. Trail 3 has been sabotaged, which is annoying, so let's, uh, let's hire a load more agents. We've got 15 defence. Polyps and the Cordazine are uh, the only ones better than us. We should be able to resolve that. So fourth fleet has arrived. Third fleet, then let's uh, let's get you involved. Take out any of the orbital defenses. So fourth fleet, I think we need to get you bombing straight away because there are ground batteries. Let me reduce the speed. 
There we go. Take out the, uh, the space defenders to make way for the bombers. There's no shield? No, so we should be able to start inflicting damage pretty quickly on the planet to stop these missile batteries. the defense platforms, missiles. Oh no, there's one there's one more. So let's take that out. Bombs are now starting to fall. And that will trigger an attack on our ships. We need to take out this missile battery. There we go, that gun, that's gone. There's a gun battery there to take out as well. Let's call uh, ten troops to invade. Yeah, one of our ships unfortunately captured. But we're doing decent, uh, decent damage. Okay, another one was captured, that is a shame. There we go, there goes the battery. There's a military outpost there we need to take out. Okay, fourth fleet, stop, uh, stop bombarding. Third fleet, come in a little closer. Troops shouldn't be too far away. Yeah, they're there, they're on their way. So, first fleet, let's, let's go towards Titan. We've got some got some frigates in the second fleet. Uh, they're on their on their way, I think, to to reinforce. There we go. One there, one there. Let's have a little look at the third fleet because we did suffer some losses. So I'll delete to uh, delete that Talon and that Hawk and replace them with another two frigates. You need to be talons, yep. So let's sort all of them out. I'll just pop the game speed back up. Yeah, it's very strange how the rest of the galaxy is uh, is so quiet. But the rally, um, yeah, they did declare war on me, so I think it, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, it could be could be deliberately this quiet. Uh, so livestock cloning that will help. Let's. Um, have a look, maybe at mercantilism. Uh, oh yeah, let's let's get that because that will give us a a decent income. Let's also have a look again at the um, the freighter. So if I was to go now with a um, a medium warp engine back here, and then maybe two forward thrusters with some little ones there. Power, then um, stick some. Okay, might need some more power. But let's go with a cockpit here, take the symmetry off. So you go there, you go there. So we've got all the power we need. And then let's add in. Oh, um, I put you there instead, then. Large cargo hold. So these little ones, actually, um, they do uh, 50 power each, so that would be 200. Okay, so a fusion reactor will give us better power. Um, cockpit could move you to the front there. There we go. So I can ditch that one. Can I ditch you? Ah, yeah. Damn, it's uh, 
needs that one back there to power the engines. Um, so we've got three large, and then all of this will be small. Which, uh, okay, still 19k FTL, 290 sub, which is alright, so... If I, if I lost you two, 19k. Um, I think all the end, all the warp ones need to be. Yeah, uh, small warp. They need to be engine slots. Okay. Move you forwards and then give me some sensors. So it's quite slow, but. Um, it does carry a lot. Turn rate is a bit slow, so could I give you... Can I give you some turning thrusters? Just to improve... Ah, uh, it doesn't, it's not powered. Um, i put you there. Get rid of you, put that in there. Is that too much? Yeah, it does, it does. Um, so, okay, so they're slow at getting to where they need to go, but they carry a lot, and then when they're in the system, 217 is, is better. So let's just save that. The, um, the cargo capacity is uh, over here somewhere. 53. So I'll save that as that. Uh, no, not that. There we go. So that's 53. So if we load up the little one, let's have a look. So freighter, let's load up the small freighter. So that transports, yeah, 23. It's a lot faster at um, light speed, but. Um, I think that will be. I think we'll have an improvement. Let's um, let's go with that. Improve the volume of goods that we can move. Oh, they've rebuilt the um, outpost. So let's uh, let's take out that troops on the ground. Well, oh, they were bombing our own troops. I didn't realise that that was... Oh no, no, sorry. That's that's their troop. They've created a troop. Or a troop has landed. I'm so used to playing the rally. <laughs> that's my own troop. So actually we're just taking out one of their troops as well, which is good. Let's uh, stop bombing now. Because that will be enough. Our troops need to, to land to secure this. And then I think... What about Titan V? Oh, that's a 9.9. .9. Titan 4 is 2.3, which could be, yeah, I think Titan, Titan 4 actually, Titan 4 is uh, where we should hit first, because it's going to be the most useful of those planets to us eventually. Let me just check out my fleet, uh, yeah, okay, oh, we need to, so I'll delete these Corvette ones and replace them with frigates. And we captured Lesgad, um, which is going to be an industrial world for us. And that, guys, is where I will end this episode. Next episode, we'll move on Titan, and then potentially on to Cyclops, and uh, we'll have kind of got their um, their home world sort of ringed then with our own systems. Um, Jera's three. Um, yeah, I think we leave that one. And uh, yeah, maybe, maybe get in a, into a position to attack their homeworld, but we will see. I will see you in the next one, guys. Thanks very much.